Next, good. We're going to talk about Cody, and we pride ourselves on calling stuff and being right. But eight point underdog Arizona Wildcats go into 19 Washington State, the good 44 to 6. We expected a lot of points, but man, we expected it from both sides. But the Arizona Wildcats prevail 44 to 6. And when we thought Noah Fajita was going to get some touchdown passes, he did throw for 342 yards, but it was all the running game. Four. Four rushing touchdowns, I believe, when I'm looking here. Five rushing touchdowns from Arizona. That was big. Arizona Wazoo, what stood out to you when you watched this game and you look at this game and why can't Washington State, man, two losses in a row? What a turnaround there for the Cougars. Yikes. Yeah, you know, I think Arizona did a great job controlling the football. They did exactly what we thought they would need to do, keep that explosive Wazoo offense off the field with their running game. Um, but I think the physicality of Arizona is what really surprised me. Uh, they were forcing turnovers. They were running the football. Who's their number three running back? What's his name? You got him on there? Yeah, yeah. Let me look at it real quick. Um, they've got Rayshon Luke, that up? Jonah Coleman, and they yeah. got DJ Williams. All Jonah three Coleman got three all touchdowns. Three, yeah. yeah, all three of them were physical, aggressive. They were attacking downhill. Um, Man, Arizona, that was one of the more impressive performances of the weekend. We definitely, I didn't think it was going to be a blowout, but man, any, like there was one touchdown. I want to say it was like the second to last touchdown that Arizona scored and the camera panned to the stadium. Anytime the Palouse is empty for a football game, that's a bad thing. So shout out to Arizona Wildcats. You guys held down the 5-2-0 down in Tucson. Showed up, showed out, 44-6 to six over Washington State. Big-time win. 174 yards rushing, 342 yards passing. I think that's crazy. Five wide receivers with at least four receptions. Five wide receivers and a tight end there for the Arizona Wildcats. This is Arizona Wildcats, Cody. They're 4-3 and three on paper, but you got to think about their losses. Triple overtime to USC, that was tough. A one-score game against Washington at home, and then that, that overtime game against Mississippi State. It's a good team in Arizona. Uh, they play Oregon State at home next week. They play home again against UCLA, Colorado, home against Utah. This is a team, again, Oregon State, UCLA, and Utah going to Arizona. They're a scary team that I would not want to play if I got hopes to make the Pac-12 championship. This is a team that could either win hopefully six games and make the playoff, or maybe they could even win out, uh, maybe win, lose one or two, and maybe win seven or eight games. But talk about what Arizona is doing right now and another scary team and what Jed Fish has got going on. Nice knowing you, Jaden Delora. Sorry. Yeah, facts, facts. Sorry. That's the future right there, too. That shocked me. The this future, guy's a redshirt man. freshman. Huge. Redshirt freshman throwing to one of his guys in uh, uh, Tedaroa McMillan. Um, yeah, Noah Fafita, guy of the future. You got to love it. Stepping in, having big games, not only against Washington, but also USC. And now to go on the road and dominate uh, Washington State like that, you can kind of see his team rallying around him. It's fun to see. Um, Coach Fish has done a great job. Also, shout out Justin Flo, former five-star Oregon recruit. Uh, he actually had a big game as well on the defensive side for Arizona. Um, yeah, you know, this Arizona Wildcat team, they're very talented. Coach Fish has done a great job recruiting, not only in the transfer portal, but also the high school recruiting. Um, and uh, I think it started last year with him being able to get Tedaroa McMillan out of Servite in Southern California. Um, his high school quarterback was Noah Fafita. Um, mm. And so, yeah, they've done a good job, like I said, being able to get Justin Flo in the transfer portal. Um, things are trending up. Uh, I know they have a four-star quarterback also coming in for next year um, out of Arizona. You mentioned him in one of the previous Devon episodes. Williams. Yeah. Yep. So he's coming from the Phoenix area. So, yeah, you know, um, it's going to be – things are trending up down there in Tucson. Um, might not be able to get to eight or nine wins this year, but just, think, like I said, things are trending up. Arizona, as they transition into uh, their next conference, don't be surprised if you start to see them start to get get some more wins in that win call. A bowl game would be huge. Even even if they get six or seven wins, a bowl game is huge for the Wildcats. But lastly, as we put a wrap on this game, what's going on with Cam Ward in the Washington State – Cougars back-to-back -back weeks I thought Arizona's ability to eliminate the deep ball we saw that against Penix at home and we saw this against Cam Warren but what, what's the struggle there for Washington State oh yeah and you got at Oregon this week potentially their third loss in a row 
Yeah, you know, I think you called it. I think you said uh, Arizona being able to limit the big plays for Washington State. Washington State does a lot of stuff where they play with momentum. They like to go. Once they get like 10, 15 yards, they want to go again. They want to go again. They want to go again. Arizona did a really good job limiting those, and Cam Ward was not patient enough to kind of pick apart their defense the way Michael Penix did, and that kind of shows you the levels between a guy like Michael Penix headed to the next level, probably going to be a high, high round draft pick, and a guy Cam Ward probably not going to be so much. Um, so ultimately, at the end of the day, no shade to Cam Ward. Um, you're still a great player. Um, still have a lot of football ahead of you. Uh, just unfortunately, you weren't able to be patient enough um, against a very opportunistic and very physical Arizona defense.